All right. Yeah. Uh, so thanks, Varun, for the great talk. Um, people have questions, please post them um, on the pad or um, via IRC as well, and we'll take them up. Thank you very much. Uh, I guess I'll be here to answer questions. Um, no. Let's see. Yeah. And also, Fermin, if you later want to clarify anything like or fix any URLs or such, um, you're always welcome to do that either like on the wiki page or um, if you like email any of the organizers, they should be able to help with that as well. OK. Yeah, I put the wrong URL. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but yeah, not, not a big deal, really, if you, if you look it up. Yeah. You'll, you'll, uh, yeah. Oh, that should be better. Oh, thank yeah. you very much. I was checking no questions. God, I'm very good to be in touch. Oh, we have a question here in the big blue button chat. Oh, oh public chat. I see. Is LEM uh, an acronym? I think it is, but I never remember um, the the complete name. It's like something. It's also a circle, like you know, a self reference in no recursive name. But I never remember it. Sorry, <laughs> it's like um, yeah. Someone um, okay. Someone asked about the M community. How big it is? Um, so I don't remember so to, to answer the question. I don't remember the acronym, but it is an acronym. <laughs> I just never. It's a, it, and it's not written anywhere, I think, or someone, or I never check it. Um, so I, the maintainer told me once, and then I forgot. Um, so, how large does Lem have a package manager? We do have a package manager, funny enough. We use him the Quick Lisp. Um, infrastructure to get packages so it will, it's very easy to to install packages so we basically we don't have a package manager as in emacs you know, uh, have a packet.l we're using the same common list infrastructure to provide the different packages um we also have a talk with the ultra lisp which is like a you know quick lisp is like you, know, you can think quickly of melpa uh, ultra lisp is like a fast melpa very fast melpa that every every I think every day, um, you can get a package from them, and we have a tag system that you can submit a package and get a tag, and uh, theory theory can download those, those packages with the lem tag. Um, so the thing is, um, it's not yet it doesn't have a user interface to install packages still. Yeah, there's two external packages <laughs> for now imagine this is like the the early emacs right everything is going to the core for now because we need that functionality um, in the future we probably will split it up way more but uh let me uh, first answer a question in the in the uh, other question in the other part um how large is land community hope it's a chance of survival long term um so we are very small community um uh, Mostly because it's Sasaki san so the main developers of the community are from Japan, and they, some of them or most of them doesn't know English. So very at the beginning, Lang was a very Japanese centric, you know, tooling. And because barrier of the language, most of the users are from Japan, you know, so different communities. So you know, and also I don't know why, but uh, the main maintainer, which is Sasaki san very good uh, guy and a very very talented developer. Um, doesn't like to, you know, <laughs> to, at first the project was all in Japanese, so he doesn't care if, you know, if someone uses the project or not, he's more focused on the, uh, I guess, quality of the features of it. So that creates a problem that is not, doesn't really mind the community. So the community not doesn't mind in a good way, you know, it's to focus more on technicality rather than the users, which, I mean, I cannot blame him, right? It's it's very hard work to build an, an Emacs and editor from scratch. It's not a trivial task. Um, so yeah, we're a very small community, uh, but I think the chance of survival is very good because uh, Lem is written in ANSI common lisp. So 
uh, it should be used in any, well, it works in a lot of uh, common Lisp implementation for people who don't know. Common Lisp is a language that was standardized in the 94. I explained that in the talk, but once again. So if Common Lisp exists, in theory, LEM should also exist. And also if n courses doesn't break uh, or doesn't start stop to exist, which is even less likely. Uh, so that's the main idea. And you can use LEM for very good Common Lisp development ready. If Common Lisp doesn't change the match, it should be, you know, shouldn't disappear. It's not like we are not bound to any company or any, you know, even Sasaki san, God forbid, disappears instantaneously. Um, there are a few people, me included, that know very well the code base and we can continue the development. So it's not like one, no, there's no one man project. And we have four man project or five, <laughs> but not one. Uh, okay, I'll answer the, the one in the chat from the um, blue bottom. Uh, is it best to let Commodus before learning to use LEM? I think this is similar to to Emacs and Emaclisp, right? Should you use Emaclisp before using Emacs? Doesn't make too much sense, right? Use Emacs and then you go learning um, uh, Commodus. I think it's the same. Sorry, Emaclisp and the same with LEM. You can sell using LEM without knowing Commodus which is fine. You can use it to edit your things. It's like an editor, but like Emacs, LEM puts a lot of focus on extensibility. So you will have to, it's very probable that you will um, learn how to write common Lisp. I have to say that um, a lot of people that use LEM, well, me and most of the people come from Emacs. So if you come from Emacs and you know a little bit of Emacs Lisp, common Lisp is like a uncle or cousin distant that uh, shares some similarities so you will well it's not going to be that i'm i can show so regarding that for example i show that in the i can show so the it's not that different from emacs regarding configuration right so for example uh this command doesn't exist on lem and Sasaki san didn't want to copy one to one like the command from Emacs list, right? The air grip, the closer grip command of Emacs. And I say, okay, uh, then I'm going to implement it myself. And it's something like this, which is you will do something similar to Emacs, right? This is this will be like things at point symbol or something like that. Uh, and then you have a prompt, you know, very uh, prompt for directory within Emacs will be something similar. And then you then launch grep with the command that you want. This is not that far from Emacs, this really. Yeah. You, it, if you don't know neither of those, you can use, still use LEM, though you, you know, as with Emacs, you, the extensibility will be, um, well, <laughs> you, you couldn't extend it if you don't know common Lisp, so. Uh, um, should I answer the question on the, uh, etherpad writing it at the same time. Uh, you're welcome to, but you don't have to. You can just answer here on stream on the okay. button. Okay. okay uh, there are any list machine capabilities you're trying to revive that GNU Emacs lacks. The type objects capability in the editor, as an example. Um, I, I mean, there's a, there were a few discussions about the uh, Mac list. So sorry, the list machines and LEM and other big projects that tries to like get some capability of it. But uh, we don't really, we try to improve um, the development experience for common Lisp and for LEM, imitating a lot of things that um, uh, the list machine had, right? I'm going to try to do a thing that I don't know if it's going to work, but um, so to explain this, let's see. Okay, I'm going to re recompile them now live. Let's see. Let's see how it works. And compiling the, um, yes, it doesn't work. <laughs> okay, what if I do, uh, no, it doesn't work. Okay, I was trying to compile the SDL too, but I do have the code base modify. Should be able to compile this. 
oh, that was really bad. <laughs> what about example? <laughs> no. uh, I have the uh, the code base, so let me check. Do this. Oh yeah, I have this modify. Let's stash this. Okay. <laughs> I have this modify. Now it should work. Okay. Sorry. Um, I was check. I was going to show the uh, the writing capabilities of it. Similar to the list machine of navigating of classes. But yeah. So the answer of that question is uh, not really. We don't try to emulate this machine of any lack of that. Uh, but uh, yeah, uh, let me, I'm going to try to, okay, now I'm back in LEM. Okay. <laughs> uh, so what about using LEM for things other than common, common that market? Okay, so yes, we do have, so I'm going to show the code base a little bit. Uh, like I said before, we don't have yet too much external packages because of the size of the community. I have a question. Um, go ahead, you can write it, Mike, Michael. Yeah. Uh, so yes, so as you can see here, this is most of the, well, I will say most of it, it's all or 99% of the major modes. We have we we use the same terminology of as Gnu Emacs in that way. For example, the C mode. If you go inside, you see that this the five major modes. So this, in that regard, is very similar to Emacs. And we have something called a JIT, which is, which is like a maggot. And you can edit files. You can use not only for common lists uh, in my configuration, which is 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 written. I will past the well. I'll post that later. But if you go to my Kohlberg, um you can see my configuration, which is, which I do have. Um, so, you, for example, you can use it for a scheme. We have a Swank server. Uh, this is the configuration to use it. You can use it for JavaScript because we have a native LSP client written in. And we have Dyred. Yeah, this is Dyred. <laughs> uh, we have Dyred indeed. Uh, no, it's not Dyred, you know, it's called directory. Uh, Sasaki san, which is the main maintainer, doesn't like to copy one to one <laughs> uh, Emacs names, can we Emacs name? So, but we are essential. We also have a project, uh, which is like project tile. So, you know, uh, they're very similar, but not the same. We also have a VI configuration. As you can see, I'm using the VI commands and stuff, and it's very good. Uh, I will say not that good as an evil because we still have, need some, some, you know, some polish, but it's getting there. Um, so, we can also program in JavaScript and a lot of LSP things and Elixir, which is was recently added by myself. And yeah, uh, it's very fun to add new modes. Um, okay, what else next? What about using them for things other than coding? Well, uh, what about using this in conjunction with Nix? Oh, so there's a big, uh, so like I said before, uh, there were like an issue that will three main common list project we're talking. Uh, some of the users. Um, so the main, the three main projects are LEM, probably next, and then Stand WM, you know, the three main, uh, well, three big common list projects of, uh, that are trying to emulate like an Emacs experience in different fields. One is editor, the other one is window manager, and the one is the browser. And the problem is that the design of the three are very different. You know, so, Next is very focused on the browser. Um, you can connect to Nix. So given that they're both a common list, you can connect to Nix from them and vice versa. And you can send commands and you can, so you have this kind of interactability with both, but um, no, they're not, uh, you cannot like combine both to have one LEM Next. That would be very sick. I will love it, but uh, the, the effort is just too much. Keep in mind, we are a very small community. Um, uh, the LEM, we are, like I said, we are like th three, four, five developers uh, that, that write packages and answer questions and stuff. And uh, we need users in that way to test things. So uh, what is the license of LEM? The license of LEM is uh, MAT. 
they have some components of other various licenses, but the main one is MAT. I didn't chose the license of it. Um, I will highly prefer a more like GPL one, but um, like I said, I'm not a maintainer. So the license is MAT. I'll do anything about that. Uh, this question, I realize how far is that from being able to run Elis libraries? Okay, that's, well, that's a big question indeed. Um, <laughs> Uh, I funny enough, funny enough, two years ago in the Emacs Conf, I, I talk about this not with Lem but with common list and Emacs list in general. Um, that's so I mean, you're not the only one thinking about this. In fact, I'm talking with someone that is trying to write uh, like a Emacs list interpreter to work with Lem. The thing is that Emacs list libraries, so the API is just very different. That's the main problem. That's really a problem. Um, you can, so you can, let me see. So, <laughs> you can have uh, <laughs> an Emacs list buffer of LEM. This is an Emacs list REPL. And <laughs> you, I wrote an RSP client so you can connect to Emacs and send things and stuff. So your friends that we share stuff. But, uh, Having a complete Emacs list implementation uh, with LEM uh, and work with the both API will be a huge work. A very like uh, it's even if they share very similar thing. In fact, the API in very some places is very similar. The underlying infrastructure, so the code is nothing, so it's completely different. It will be very hard. We do have. A clone of Magit that works more or less. <laughs> well, it does work, but Magit's just better. Um, but it's getting there. So, like I said, we're trying to not to copy one to one, but to you know, adapting each tool to them. Whole them buffer design similar to Emacs. Uh, so, um, yeah, that would be so. Whole them buffer design similar to Emacs. In so similar in what way? Um, it's actually with properties. I think they're using, so you do have like a, in the font lock, different kind of a properties, but um, it's not exactly uh, how Emacs does it with overlays and stuff. Um, you can, so if you're very interested in the, uh, I don't want to go too much deep into the, let me go to, quickly. I don't want to go too much deep into the, you know, Technicality of things now, but you can go. So Lem is written 100% in common list. So if you know common list, you can go to buffer. You can check all the code here. Uh, yes. Always we have. We also have this, which is like Streamax. Sorry to that, I don't. <laughs> but yeah. Uh, so uh, so you can see. So yeah. If you go to the code base, you all maybe some of you can check this problem. Well, not problem, but you know, that's this Japanese comment. You can see here why. Um, it's very, you know, you have to translate and stuff, which is sometimes a little bit annoying. But uh, yeah, um, some of them are in English. So uh, this play is not the same. So if you're interested, you can go to the buffer and check it out for yourself. But I think uh, it uses the overlay in a different way. Still, like the implementation uh, is different in that way. Uh, oh, this is fairly low. This much. Uh, what are the things or ex experiences like you show you? Emacs. Both. Okay, very interesting question. Uh, what are the things? So, uh, that's interesting. Uh, let me see. So, forgive me, <laughs> you answered this. Ah, I, I talked briefly in the in the in the in the talk about this, but basically, I'm I like common lisp. I have the mascot here. Like, it's a very Italian thing. 
<laughs> um, I like Komolis, but I think Kim Aglis is a very uh, good friend of Komolis in the way that shares some similarities with the same uncle. Uh, uh, let, let me answer first the, the, the one. Um, so I like to extend it in Common Lisp. I like the Common Lisp libraries. It's, and I think them have, have a better design in terms of its one language, which I think is a nice strength. Like one of the things that put me off when I was using Emacs, I, I love to extend the editor and to go the inside and stuff. And one of the things that I'm not a big fan of C. If you find C, you will be very pleasant with finding C stuff, but I, I don't. So when I'm trying to hack an Emacs and go inside the things, you I will control C code. That's not that interactive as the Emacs is one. And that would be like a pop up for me. Um, I was I always dream about that stuff, I think like everything in one language. And the thing that Lem does to me is like it allow me to extend the editor in it on in to modify also to modify it in, in common lisp. Um, also, like the language and technology, it's a, it's a, it's a both thing, right? It's a one well, language that I love, uh, and Emacs that I love. Emacs, I'm a big fan of, or user of GNU Emacs, and them is like Emacs plus Common Lisp, but with a different design. I don't want to, it's not a clone. I want to um, get this, like, you know, very clear that LEM is not a clone of Emacs. <laughs> the design is very different in a lot of ways, but it's very inspired, and that cannot be denied. Yep. I can jump um, in for a second. Um, I think we're like 15 minutes into the launch break, but you're welcome to continue answering questions. Um, but if anyone on the stream or folks want to like go grab lunch, um, feel free to do that. I'm probably going to do that as well. But um, um, yeah, we can either continue keeping this on the stream or if people would like to come join here on Big Blue Button and talk to Furman, um, like if folks have already ahead. done that. Um, yeah, you're welcome to. Yeah, go ahead. No problem. Thank you. Thank you, Badali. Cheers. Cheers. Uh, so, <clears throat> uh, finishing the uh, the answer to the question, I uh, think Lem does tries to fix some Emacs problems, can we Emacs problems regarding uh, the internal the internal API, which makes sense, right? Emacs have like forty years, which is a lot, and um, yeah. Which uh, that's what makes me happy. I use both now. I use Magit and Emacs for some languages, and then I use Lem for for common Lisp and other languages. So it's like a. And you can also use Lem for Emacs Lisp, <laughs> which is makes Lem the second best editor for Emacs Lisp. <laughs> it was a funny thing to do. Uh, okay, so uh, do you think Lem continue to have a lot of Japanese documentation? So <clears throat> um, there's it doesn't have there's not that many Japanese documentation really. Um, so uh, there's a few comments here and there, but it's not full. Well, we have a web page with a lot of documentation in English, so you can uh, take a look at that. Um, but we do have to uh, improve the documentation and translate it to English. Sasaki San is up to it, but he just doesn't not that comfortable translate it himself. So, so yeah. So uh, Fairman, this is uh, yeah. Peter on Big Blue Button. Um, yeah, it's uh, it's neat that you that that Lem even exists because there's uh, seems like there's there's um, always chatter on the Emacs mailing list to rewrite Emacs in some other language, and uh, mm -hmm. and to see that it's already to see that I mean you you have an implementation sitting there and and the thing I was wondering while I was listening in on the on the uh, Q and A. Was do you have Jared? Do you have Maggot? And some somebody else wrote that question into into Etherpad, but uh, mm -hmm. I was happy to see that you have Jared or something like it implemented because I think that's like the for me that's the most important thing in Emacs because that gets me gets me around in my system. So. Mm. Indeed, so, uh, yeah. For me, for me too. For me too. Go ahead. Sorry. Yeah. So I may I may try it out sometime, but probably won't be for like three or six months. Is there, there's always a backlog of other things to try out. Yeah. Sure. I'm the one who wrote that question. And do you uh, use, I think you have bookmarks and registers, I imagine, right? 
I think you you have. Uh, I never tried bookmarks because I don't use it that much. But I think you have something like that. I mean, I don't. There's a few features that I don't know about them because I don't use it that much. Um, some features. I mean, um, but yeah, I think you have. Let me check. <laughs> we can check both these. Um, the 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 thing is in extensions. Just directory. No. Bnxt. Directory mode. So there is. Uh, so this is the tyrant uh, friend. I don't want to say clone. Very inspired, you know. What about like on the note taking front, like org mode yeah. note? Yes. So. Um, EMMS. Yes. So someone, it was did some EMMS. So not EMMS. Oh, uh, not much. Um, so package for lem that is now in a pull request i think but um yeah no the thing is i don't use our mode that much we don't have a heavy or mode user to provide some uh, major mode and stuff so we don't have that uh, implemented yet the thing is my plans for i, I do have plans for all mode they're relatively evil but there's a plan for it. So I'm planning to use... So rewriting our mode is a big task that I don't want to do. <laughs> so I'm going to use Emacs for our mode into LEM. I wrote an RSP... No, uh, Remote Procedure Call, RPC. That, was, but, uh, that I'm using for, for, for the Red Bull and stuff. For, and I'm planning to have an Emacs puppet to provide me the, document, the, the functionality for our mode. I know for me when I when I write notes, I like to note more than org roam just because I feel org mode is great and all, but I but if all my notes are in it, I kind of feel trapped by it. Like mm. uh, I did the talk journaling in K outline, and I want to and I like that package better for some things. And it's like if I want to put like the tags on PDF file names, and so it's like. Yeah, it's great and all, but it's also is that part of the motivation of wanting to use LEM is so you feel less entrapped by Emacs? No, no, no. For I the was same perfect. reason. I don't know. I was very happy trapped into Emacs. <laughs> to be fair, the the thing is, I um, I don't use Ormo that much. That's just the reality. Uh, I Ormo for me, it's a very good markup language. But not that much, really. I know the Hormo has a lot of people, and you know it's used by a lot of people. And these are very interesting packages. Hormo. What about org mode versus Markdown versus plain text versus LaTeX? Then I like org mode because of the Emacs functionality. I think if you take that away, you plain or mode versus you know, Markdown. I don't think there's that much different if you take the Emacs functionality away. Yeah. LaTeX, I like the uh, Emacs no. syntax more than uh, Markdown. Like, for instance, you have the double square brackets, which is simpler for me mm. to look at. But Yeah, I guess that's a matter of... I mean, we don't have yet a major mode of or mode, which will be quite trivial. Well, you know, a simple syntax highlights, you know, uh, or mode in, in LEM. Um, because no one... Wrote it. <laughs> that, I mean, that, that's the way with these projects, right? If you, you know, need people to, to, to motivate, to be motivated yeah. to, to do that. So, and with Lem, um, someone asked about the Japanese, and I think the interesting uh, about, um, about that is the uh, yeah. Lem does have a thing that I think can be. I'd be able to do more, but that's what I true. was doing. Um, so, for example, we use him. I'm not a big fan of. So for, I mean, I know that the main people that may use in the future LEM are Emacs people. A lot of them. It makes sense. <laughs> it's very similar. And Sasaki-san and LEM community mainly uses Discord for chat and stuff. I and mean, in you know, we don't have an. We we do have Matrix, and I should connect to it by the way. Um, but. Uh, we mainly use um, Discord, which I think I don't think is a good 
uh, thing. I mean, to have the main um, communication channels, Discord. Because, well, it's Discord. It's a closed source application that is easy for some people, but some people it's a tailbreak. Uh, especially people that uh, that are in Emacs community that very like free software. The only good thing about it mostly is it's popular, but as soon as you break out of that mold, all of a sudden it becomes a lot harder. For instance, they don't have all the third party clients are unofficial and according to their terms of service, they can just can you forbid them. Yeah, which is it's not true. a nice position to be in if you're trying to use it and you wanted to be a moderator using some side tools that weren't Discord. I agree 100%. And in fact, I'm not a big fan. I don't like Discord. Uh, um, you mentioned the RPC you did yes. between Emacs and the LEM. Do you have it published somewhere? Yes, it's in the LEM. Uh, it's in the LAM project. I'll copy that in the full chat. Okay, because I'm uh, always interested in how you do um, like the communication with other um, programs with Emacs because that's interesting. Ah, that's I'm not. <laughs> I'm I'm, just, I'm only using the porthole uh, package. Not uh, I'm not writing it from scratch. Not that much commonly developer. So I oh, don't know this package. Maybe that's the thing I can learn. Oh, from it. Portal. yeah, probably. If you, yeah, yeah, yeah. If you want to, so as you see in this one, uh, this package for the ERSP, which make is mostly automatically. And how do you do? Uh, how do you plan to integrate org mode? This way, so, because uh, org mode needs to work on. <coughs> yes. So I'm planning to have like uh, Emacs puppet. And to have like a clone buffer from the buffer that you do in LEM, and then the command sent into the Emacs hidden buffer, and then the changes go back to LEM to change the buffer on LEM. That's my idea. Okay, that sounds interesting. Would be interesting to see what comes from it. Uh, it's a bit, oh, it's a hackish 100%. <laughs> It's not, you have to duplicate the information and stuff, uh, which is, oh, by the way, I'm going to pass the Lemmington, which is the name of the RSP clone, er, sorry, the integration with Emacs, which is Lem with us, mustache. They, uh, they had good news for it. it would do the same thing where it would open up a slave Emacs because it was such a performance hog for their retrieving all the emails. So. No, well, I mean Emacs have like a server, right? I can, in fact, I'm using that for for. I'm I'm already puppeting. Well, not puppeting. I'm already using Magit. When so I have this. I'll show you my copy. Um, I have this, which if you read a little bit, I'm launching the Emacs daemon and then I'm launching Lemington. And then this is the kill, and this is the status, which is basically saying uh, run this, and this is this, which is run uh, maggot in this file. If you put it side by side, you will check instantly that this is the buffer directory, lem home, and then the current uh, file. Because I'm launching it with the, you know, the file. The, you know, so uh, buffer directory, which is the directory of the buffer. So they, <laughs> I'm already using Magit uh, as a, like a tool outside of uh, of Lem because I really like Magit, and this is very easy to check. For, for launch Emacs daemon. Well, okay, and then I go to uh, I don't know this local project and. Let's go to another one that is not them. Uh, Emacs has all maybe. weird ideas like running it in daemon mode so you don't ever have to restart it or the images, I guess, that Lem yeah. has. Lem does not have like this kind of, uh, you know, um, um, how we'll call it. The, it doesn't have a, like a daemon mode. So, so you have control 
separately. But keep in mind that LEM, it's a common list program. So if you use Slime or Sly, you can easily connect LEM um, to, to hack on it. From Do email. you ever use that fun functionality, like using it from another computer? Another computer. I think the same computer. Or well, maybe a Sage. But um, yeah, or it's very... From, or from like your window. Uh, if you were using the window... Ma I can't remember the name of the window manager. Thumb or volume. if you were using... What? SBC Thumb. out? No. Thumb volume. Thumb, yeah. Yeah. If, or using like Stump... Calling it from like Stump WM or... How often yeah. do you use that? REPL. I use it quite a lot. I connect, so I'm using... Sound WM right now. This is Sound WM. And I use LEM to connect to it. But I was using Emacs before. And you can use Sly or Slime to connect to LEM. And so the thing that is in common list makes you this kind of a already out of the box connectivity between. How different... many window managers have you used? I've, I've used that before. I've also used. Use like right now. I'm using Sway. I've used Xmonad, DWM, and uh, this use Awesome. Um, uh, what is the other one? Uh, I don't remember the name, but it was like a few years ago. I've been doing some DWM for like the two the last year, I think, or three. And uh, I remember that. There, go ahead. I don't know. It's, a, uh, it's that uh, I was. I don't know. I like to have a couple of days with my. I remember that that window manager seemed to have some unique ideas that I didn't that weren't <laughs> necessarily available on like EWM and Xmonad. Mm, so Sound WM, it's a interesting project. But uh, for example, I'll change. So I, I don't have in this computer, but in my other computer, I change the mod line or all bar, top bar, whatever, because the Thunder WM doesn't only update it when you click or you do some events or happen one minute. So as you can see here, this is not changing until I click. Uh, Matthew, sorry, I have a quick question for Matthew. Go ahead. Um, so is your is your talk going to be um, posted, or did you give it live? Uh, I gave them a recording. It, my talk was the K outline for journaling. Right, right. It was. Uh, I, I woke up too late for it. Sorry. So I came in and and I just saw uh, Bob Weiner uh, answering questions. Um, so is is your talk going to be on the on the page for your talk? Because I don't um, see a video. I could give you a link to it because I had I hosted it on uh, Mega to give it to them because when I emailed it, it didn't work. Oh, okay. Is then you can just download it and watch it. I'm probably okay, yeah. going to host it Actually, on YouTube you... later. I, I had my face record with it, but I never got it edited together in time. Oh, okay. If you could... um. If you can put the link onto the onto the Etherpad or something, or onto the wiki, then then I can find it and check it out. All right, thanks. All right. Sorry to interrupt your time, Furman, but I figure we're heavily into the into the break, anyways. No problem. I'm using. I'm in an Emacs conference talking about all that. So I mean, I'm yeah. already doing blasphemy. So. <laughs> <Cool>. <laughs> Um, uh, nice chatting with you guys. Um, what I want to say? Um, I think um, that. Uh, what I say? Oh yeah, notes. So the thing is, Lem, as my point of view, and the point of view probably of Sasaki-san, just to maintain that, uh, is very focused on an IDE more than than a note taking editor. You know, most like a, a, you know, an integrated development environment. Not totally, not more. So Node is like a second thing. Um, so not exactly 
the main focus. And I know that Emacs does have a very strong community of or mode users that use Emacs for or mode, which is the killer feature, one of the killer features of Emacs. So I'm not the <laughs> I'm not the maintainer of porthole. <laughs> Uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I did uh, add it to, so I, know, I don't maintain it of or mode. I don't, sorry, or porthole, the, the RSP. I'm, I'm only using it on the lemon tongue, so I cannot <laughs> change anything. Mm. Anyway. Um, what are some yes. interesting things you have with your window manager? I do have see elsewhere or um I can connect to it and hack it from my editor. Which I think is really fun. Uh the way I can write so I wrote a few packages for Soundlium. My some config. So one of them is Proton, which is basically launches like um um so proton it's like this wine thing that um valve did yeah yeah, I'm um, aware. yeah i use it okay uh, so this basically you have like a list of let me check no we just sorry uh this so these all games are um bought by me they're not pirates in any way and I can use this to to launch it. Was that D menu or was that a stub WM menu? Ah, this is a um, D menu. So I have uh, I also contribute the D menu um, ah integration into Stumblium. So I use D menu. So it like this, right? Anyway. Yeah, that's pretty cool. You don't know how nice those things are until you start using those. <laughs> yeah, the and... menu is just very interesting and very... Also, I was using Rofi, but... I was also more... Of... The other thing I was more of mentioning is, is, is that also, you, being able to use D-Menu, but being able to just have keyboard-oriented everything fuzzy search narrowed hmm. and no tabs, no status bars, like all of a sudden your mental model on how your computer operates goes through the roof and a lot of Emacs users know what that is like. Oh yeah. Uh, Especially yeah, when you like... start in conjunction okay. with a window manager. Yeah, I think so. Um, I remember when I was, so for me, I tried the Emacs window manager. But it wasn't for me. Um, having a single thread window manager is scary. And also games and some stuff wasn't working correctly, which it makes sense in some regard using Emacs for a window manager. Uh, I've used it before. I found that it wasn't as, like it. it's not as bad in practice because Every, the paper cuts you don't like to hit them every day so you make sure so you make sure your emacs config is a lot nicer and doesn't have those slowdowns or you oh, avoid indeed. those yeah. things because yeah, yeah yeah it forces you to make your emacs config a lot more uh robust to speed hmm. i mean that's true yeah uh the thing yeah but still i don't know like uh... you'll still get the paper cuts but yeah, and I, I, my experience was not great, and you know, I, I like, I'm not a person like I don't want to have, uh, not with Lem nor Emacs. I like to have different programs. I don't want to like, I never was in like Emacs or you know only Emacs. I really love Emacs, you know Emacs, but only Emacs. No, no, I like my browser. I like my, you know, <laughs> my, uh, my window manager. My you know. Uh, I wasn't Emacs only in the Emacs is my OS. Some people are, which is good. Um, different kind of a 
Um, I have to say that I come from Vim, uh, like a long time ago, uh, but I come from Vim, so I'm using evil mode, and I maybe have this kind of a, um, yeah. So regarding some of them, it's I like it because it's common Lisp, but uh, it does have some this. I I removed this, I, so I'm using other model line because the model line is not great. Everything else is a little bit weird because you have like um, frames similar to Emax. So you have a frame. So you have this window and then there's no nothing here. Yeah, I've used it before. Yeah, that was that yeah, was definitely that's... weird. No, it's also nice to be able just to can't you put window multiple windows in multiple like can't you have duplicate windows show the same window in two frames? Uh never try that. Never occurred to me that uh I don't know. <laughs> never try that to be honest. Uh let me check. <laughs> no idea. Uh item? I think so. I will... because when you try to at least not in an easy way. When you try to so if I try to put a window here, let me move it so it uh, and if I try to like, so it's yeah, it's now all the windows. So, like, can you open the that? What was that? Discord or your browser? Could you open that in it's both of your frames? I, I can. I can. Frames. I mean, I, I do. I can. I can have two browsers here, side by side, but not the same browser. I know you can do that in DWM. I never occurred to me that. Wow. Um, and you can't do that in Xmonad, at least with. At least I don't know what configuration you'd have to do to get to be able to do that in Xmonad. Interesting. Maybe you can. I'm. I'm. I'm I never tried. So, so maybe you can. No idea. All. All. All the interesting thing that I never use uh, is that floating windows. Uh, never use floating windows, but um, so normal windows. You know, not. And some WM does have a weird support for it. Now it works, um, but you, I don't, you know, like a very, for me it was a little bit rough, the using of floating windows and some WM. I, they, I think they're very, way better now, I think. But uh, yeah, uh, I don't use it, so. But there is. You know, for me with the, like Emacs doing everything's like, you got like the Emacs, you got Shell, and then you got the gooey Wild West. <laughs> yeah. Um, and like with Emacs, I know I, I'll generally get, oh, this is going to be configured in. It's either going to be Shell script, Python, or Emacs. Oh, wait, no, it's going to be Emacs. <laughs> Variable's going to be written in set queue, period. <laughs> <laughs> um, well,. I don't use too much scripting, but I'd like to, for example, I had to do a, so the automatic installer for, for Debian base, um, for Debian and stuff, for Linux, for, uh, for Lem. I was thinking of doing it in Bash, and I said, I don't want to do it in Bash. <laughs> so I just did it in SVTL, in Common Lisp, which does have like a scripting feature. You can put a script, and it will create your script. Uh... One of the main people behind Next, he ha did a talk on using Common Lisp as a replacement for a shell. Yes, it was. Um, no, Joe. Uh, yeah, I know him. Well, I know him. I know that he exists. <laughs> uh, Next, I think it's the main maintainer of Next. Amrebar? Yeah. Although his right. website's kind of. I think he took it down. I don't know. He... Yeah, I think he. Yeah, he took it down. So if you, if you want to, you can like look at it in like Time Machine, but yeah, yeah, I I read I I, ha I do have that article like in my my bookmark I think somewhere. I remember reading that. I don't. So also, I would like to keep separated things in that way to so have Shell and then Emacs or Lem. Like, I'm for Emacs I use Vitor. I don't like so I have different, you know. Mm -hmm. On the same t time, though, I also don't like my terminal not to be able to click uh, 
URLs and I like oh. I like my terminal to have history and you know to scroll That's position awesome. copy paste you can do some of that stuff but you know have that stuff go on the kill ring I kind of view it as like an alternative to shell fair enough but I think when some for my terminal I only use it for navigate remove stuff so basic stuff when I try when I have to like I don't know edit something just open the I like to use completion and narrowing to find my files <laughs> I kind of wish I could do that more on the shell or like if you use oh, D menu yeah. to do that that would be I'm sure nicer oh, indeed um the thing yeah we agree or uh, you use people, like an... this this a lot of tools for for terminal to do that right but you have to configure all of them Beam user are very aware of those tools <laughs> You know, having uh, very good fuzzy finding of files and then all that in the terminal. Um, I do have a friend who is a user of the forbidden editor. His code that do have does have like a lot of um, small, uh, you know, like um, like fuzzy finding and to complete commands and you know colors images in the terminal. All sorts of crazy stuff. That I think are an overkill, but I mean, if you want to use it, go ahead. So yeah. Uh, the things that I, so circling back a little bit to Lem, um, I think an interesting thought that I have about Lem and Aginu Um Not now, because Lem is a very small, like, like literally, people at least developers and users i don't know maybe 10 or less um but you know people may think split the community right that's the main thing that you come to my mind split the community maybe you because that's true i mean i'm not developing that much you know in my clisp because i'm developing them so that's not that i'm a forced <laughs> the Emacs tip existing or anything, but you know, you you're splitting a very small community. Not that them want to do that or anything, or will be able to in any way. But you know what I mean. That I, I thought about that in, uh, and I think it's a interesting concern. But that concern also. Um, stops innovation in some way. I think you can, if you look at the example of how many Emacs talks are related to knowledge management, and not all, yes. and like, for instance, Denote and Orgrom don't really work together all that well. They split the community, so to say. I don't think they make it weaker at all, though. I think you were saying, like, competition was good, but it's, yeah, competition is good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I agree on that, and I want to put it in the. But you know, I'm doing the devil advocates in this regard. Like, if someone wants to like say something, that uh, maybe you know, because some people still remember the Emacs versus uh, X Emacs thing in the past. You know, that the split of the and for, that was uh, good in some way, but also bad in others. Like the compatibility was a little bit of a hell. You know, at the end, Emacs <laughs> failed, no Emacs. But at that time, it wasn't that clear. And yeah, some people, like, it wasn't there. But, and I can understand that kind of a feeling. Oh, but, sometimes I mean, the, the steps forward, you end up going, like, you're on, on a hill and you want to get to a higher hill. So, but the way <laughs> the path to get up to the higher hill goes down and up. Fair enough. Doesn't mean mean that it, even if you know you're going down, doesn't mean that it was a mistake. Fair enough. Um, and also another interesting thing that I want to envision them in the future, if I have time or someone want to help me with, is I want them to have different language for extension, different Lisp for extension, not only common Lisp, but scheme closure. And maybe not in Maclis probably, but um, and yeah. And Isn't that funny enough, what Gal Emacs is trying to do. Gal Emacs tried to add e 
Kyle support to, but Kyle is not scheme. Well, it's kind of scheme, but it's not all schemes, uh, which is, you know, and it was just to replace um, Immaculis with Kyle. To have two both, it was just similar in that way. But the thing is, Common Lisp is not does have a lot of interesting things. So someone wrote a closure in Common Lisp, which is called Cloture or Closure, or I don't exactly know. Um, and someone wrote, uh, well, it's on the way, but it's it's getting there. Uh, scheme. Sandra scheme in Clomal Lisp. So to add support to, to LEM will be as easy as import package and you have and if that language which usually does support very well interaction between the host language and the language that tries to provide, <laughs> you will mostly automatically have new language for the editor. I think uh more interesting hanging fruit would be like using next to scrape websites download csv bank statements integrating with like password managers and or uh using but isn't that more like next thing yeah you could still do it with common list though oh yeah 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 I mean, whilst your your other options would be uh, Selenium, JavaScript, Next, Next is already gives you the REPL for that. One second, or sorry. when you had that Ambrivar talk, when he, I don't know if you watched it, but like when you use a shell and a command takes takes a while, it just automatically kicks you back into your shell and says, oh, I'll just let this run in the background. Or being able to more easily run commands in parallel, like that, I mean, those. That, that's, but that's more like, uh, you know, um, next stuff, right? Or like the Ambrivar, the shell one wasn't when he, oh, he did the, he because oh, one of the yeah. things he did he did in that when he was using the REPL in place of the shell is. One of the things in there was if a let's say you were compiling a program that takes a while if it, it took was. longer than like three seconds or something along those lines it would kick you back into the shell and say oh we're waiting for this program to run to finish oh interesting and then you could and then it had back reference support so you could say oh uh app search for this program and then with the sh with the shell, I when I want to search, I'll then grab through that list to narrow it down even further. But I do a whole new search. He just says, "Oh, just grab through what I already searched. Just grab through the results of my of the command that's three commands ago." Interesting. So, so it runs instantly. Or look for my look for my build errors in my compilation output. Rather than trying to build it again, grepping for the errors. Uh, I was checking. So, where's that project? I was looking for it. You know, the. the there was a talk. Um, yeah, but I want to check the. You know. I also had a web page. Uh, this this uh, REPL. Uh, no, this is not what it means. What is it? The I I cannot find the. I was trying to find the REPL for. Uh, 
Um, uh, is C L E S H like a unit shell for interface interface with for common Lisp? Is that the thing? Um, I don't know. I'm I'm trying to find the link to his old no longer website. Oh, skip for technical issues. Uh, maybe this one, but oh, yeah. mm, tu -tu -tu. I cannot find it. All right, I got it. Well, oh. <laughs> go to that link. Okay. There's also a Fostum talk associated with it, too. Oh, yeah, interesting. Clash and CH. CH. Oh, I was looking at the Clash. <laughs> Clash, so the. Let's look for it. And the other one is Shell in Camelisp. Interesting. Oops, close it. Oh, it's a GNU project. Oh, interesting. The other thing that was interesting there is you use those disk images, uh, Lisp images, to uh, have some of your common, common Lisp utilities or programming libraries that you utilize in tandem with your REPL. So you can easily pull up uh, uh, more featureful or a uh, uh, REPL that has more tools in it than by default. Interesting. So yeah, that's, yeah, I mean, that will be, it will be fairly, no, well, no, easy. Well, easy, but not. But this can be integrated into LAM probably. Very, you know, not that easy because you have to change the few things. But uh, this can be, yeah. Well, his example, no he's he just, well, one of the things that was in the talk, I, one of the main ideas was let's just, rather than trying to make the shell closer to a REPL. Let's take, let's make a REPL closer to a shell, shell. Make it to where we can easily run Linux programs in it, and then use the rest of the REPL goodness. Make it to where parentheses are easy to use, like para edit, uh -huh. and then, all then all of a sudden you have a nicer shell. Not really shell, but. Oh, this is huge. <laughs> Hi, folks. Uh, sorry for the interruption. It's Leo from uh, the general track. Uh, we are right. about to go back uh, live on the development track. So you can continue the discussion. You know, we're recording everything, and you seem to be having a great amount of fun to issue the need for lunch, at least for the people in the US. So I just want to let you know, in two minutes' time, we will be moving back to the rest of the talk for the afternoon. But feel free to stay in a room and keep discussing. All right? Okay. Thank you. See you. All right. It might be a little brutal so in two minutes. So if you have your watch synchronized at uh, seven sharps, so in two minutes, it'll cut off. OK. All right. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Yep. <laughs> oh, my. Yeah. Interesting stuff, indeed. I guess you have um, to listen to after you're done with comp. Have you ever yeah. listened to that talk before? Which one? Sorry. The uh, one I just, the one that's in that web page, the Fostum one. Oh yeah, I, I in fact saw him live in the Fostum, um, 2020. So oh, talk with him a little bit. 
um, the first time is here in well here in Europe here in uh, Brussels like three hours away or two hours away in plane from where I am one of the things that's kind of interesting with you have some of the people who come from Europe to the US and they're like oh I want to visit all the corners of the US in a couple of days and it's like no US no. is the size of Europe the states are the size of their countries. You don't. I know. You. you... <laughs> oh no, it's very, it's huge, it's, and it's like six hours different from coast to coast, something like that. Completely. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, and that's driving like that's driving as fast as you can on the freeway on the best roads that you possibly can, not taking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that would be. So, uh, the thing that I tried to do also with with Lem uh, is to like move my workflow from Lem to em so for Emacs to Lem to use uh, to use it more. And I hope to. We still have a lot way a long way to long way to go in terms of usability, in terms of a lot of things because we need more power. So this is also my attempt to like. Mm, do some publicity to the LEM project itself and to need to add more users to be willing to try and to fail trying <laughs> because we still have some rough edges and yeah just you know trying to to do that which is and i'm apologize to the emacles community which i'm part of but i don't want to like disencourage the use of getting emacs anyway I think both are awesome. I want to anyone to get a real impression. <laughs> yeah. What do you think? Plasma Strike. You have a very powerful name. I don't think that's something to worry about. I don't personally, but I'm going to watch the EMMS talk. That's something that I don't really use too much on my Emacs config, so I'm going to let you go. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to go. I'm going to, to maybe watch the garbage collector talk. It's really interesting. So, well, thank you all very much. I'm going to go. Uh, thanks for the questions and all that. I, I think I hope I answered uh, correctly all of them. Yeah. So I figure that's this is part of the value of being part of this is conversations. So direct part of the way of saying thank you for the for people sharing interesting talks. Indeed. Thank you all very much for going to the the Emacs Conf and uh, to watch me. So uh thank you all very much. I'm I'm gonna go to uh, all right. see you. See ya. Bye. Bye.